Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can determine a pitch before you even go to a site for uh, for your inspections. Okay, so a lot of companies require you to either provide them uh, the predominant pitch or um, they charge you extra. So when they're creating a, uh, a sketch for you. So let me show you what I would uh, uh, what I would do. Okay, first of all, I am providing you four PDFs and four JPEGs, and uh, the JPEGs are for doing something like I'm going to show you here. And the JPEGs, excuse me, the PDF you're going to use to go to Kinko's, uh, UPS store, or print them out of your printer. So watch how I do that first so if you give me a uh, here I have a video that I want to show you so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use this clear film that you printed either through Kinko's UPS or out of your printer for the purpose of this demonstration I want to put a white background because it'll show better on the um, the camera. Okay, so basically I have pitch one through 12 here, 13 to 19 here, then I have another one that's 20 to 24, and you're gonna get a copies of all this. You're actually gonna have four of them, okay? So you'll print them out, and you're not gonna be using this piece of paper in the back. This is just for demonstration because it's easier for the camera. So you'll go in and try to find the closest one. First use your center alignment. If you go like this, if you center, you can see, you can see it, it gets closer to that kind of pitch. Then once you get to the closest one that you think it is, you try to align this right in the center of the gable. And first go to the tip of it, use either this side or you can use this side. It doesn't matter which side you use. But as you can see in this demonstration, that the, this line doesn't parallel. Uh, does, it's not parallel to this one. So I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. So that was the 12 pitch. So now I go in and look. This is my 13 pitch. If you notice, those lines line up perfect. Now if I go to the next one, which is 14 pitch. And I'm going to align the left hand side. You can see that this line does not align with that. So that's the purpose of this video. Okay, so what I'm going to provide to you is four PDFs. So on this particular PDF is going to show pitch one through 12. Then you're going to get another PDF that shows 13 to 19. You get another PDF that shows 20 to 24, and another PDF that shows 25 through 30. Okay, so uh, so you'll go and you'll have those printed out in Kinkos. So now, once you print it out, you know how to use that. So for those of y'all that want to do this electronically and not print those things out because either you don't have a printer or you don't want to go to Kinko's and you you know you want to use your computer this is what you can do I created a uh, uh, <clears throat> Word document and I, I brought in two images so how do you bring those images in so you would go to Google Google Earth, Google Maps, whatever you whatever you want to use, you would enlarge to one of the gables that you want printed, right? If you use Shift Window, I'm holding both of them, and then I'm going to click on my S. It's going to bring out a little program called Snippet. Everybody has this on their computer, so I know I I got to go up at least this high and this high. So I'll go up to the left left click drag till the 
till I determine what area I want. I release it. This little dialog box shows up. You need to click on it pretty quick because it only gives you a few seconds and it disappears. So once it shows up, you want to click on this save button and save it to your desktop, right? Okay, so uh, so then you would go into Word and you would bring it in. For those of y'all that don't know how to bring it into Word, I'm going to create a new document and all you have to do is go to uh, insert picture and it, of course it's going to be on this device and you go to the designated area that you put it in uh, you would click on the image and then you hit insert and then I would enlarge it as, as big as you want okay so then uh, then you that that's that image there but you're also going to have to put that other image on top of it that underlayment right so you would go to uh, again to home oh excuse me insert picture this device uh, then you know I'm going to give you those uh, images so I'll, for this one I'm just going to do the first one and I'm going to hit insert now as you notice it looks like Okay, so it, it, it replaced that other one because I have it selected, right? So I deselected it, and I, I did that so that you can see that it's going to replace it if you don't do it right. So now I'm clicking to the right of the photograph. I'm going to insert. I'm going to go to picture. I'm going to go to this device. Um, it already knows where to go. So I'm going to click on it and hit insert. Now it brought it to the next image. So right now, if I try to drag this over, it's going to move that one over to the right because of the settings that it has. If you click on it, you get this little, uh, little dialog box. You click on it and just go all the way to the bottom right-hand corner, and all of a sudden, it moves it over on top of the image. Okay. So the, uh, the next step you need to do is go in there and you can't see the image to the back of it right so if you double click on the image you go to tr transparencies I would say 30 degree transparency you see this one here is 15 30 this one is 50 so I you know I use like 30 okay so now now you can determine the pitch of that uh, uh, of the of your pitch so let's say that this image is, is too big you can all always crop it so let's say that you find that this is pretty close so you you're gonna be in this area right you can turn around and um, right click crop and then you know crop the top and you can excuse me the bottom and the top and then you click away from it and now you have a cropped image now so if I go in here you see this and this so I'm, I'm starting from the center and I can see that that's not even close to it right now if I go to pitch 5 look at pitch 5 that's almost per perfect okay so we now know that that's a 5 pitch so you you know when you're out there your roofs are not always going to be perfect pitch now if I enlarge this area and I align the left one so that's real close okay so and I, they used to be in my house so I know it's a 5 pitch okay so look if if I use 4 pitch you see how far it's off if I use 6 pitch you see how it's off right now let me go to to my other document that I had already prepared for you so I'm gonna go down here and um, first I'm gonna move this over go down here and show you something so I went all the way to my 12 pitch and 12 pitch you can see that I can I can align it to the center to the left but look at the right that tells me that um, that that's not the right pitch 
Well, when I put, since this is aligned perfect, when I go in there and put my other one, which is 13 to uh, 20, let me see, 13 to 19, first of all, I'm going to crop it a little bit, okay, because I don't need this much on there. Now, when I climb, go up here, I'm going to show you something. Because this is a different pitch, the angle, you see, it doesn't align here or on the right-hand side because it's, a, it's, it's not the pitch. Okay, so if I go in here, this is a rotating tool, and I click, and then I try to either align. You see, I, I get real close to the alignment, and it, and it uh, snaps. Okay, now on the left-hand side, same thing. I can't get it to snap, right? So what you're going to have to do is... You know, you double click on the image. You're going to go to your um, rotating tool. You're going to go to more rotating options. You're going to go, and we're going to rotate this one degree first. So I know it's two, it looks like more than, it looks more like two degree. Remember, I'm not worrying about this side right now. I'm worrying about this side. So I'm going to go two degrees and hit OK. Now you see it's lined up. So at 12 degree, actually that's a 13, excuse me. At 13 degree, you see there's 13. At 13 degree, once you line it up, you can see that it's a perfect 13 pitch. OK, guys, uh, there's probably more to it than this, but this is the broad strokes of what I wanted to show you. Thank, thank you for watching my video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. I hope you become a subscriber one of these days. Thank you.